Yeah, it's 11 o'clock. There we go. Bring it in. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Shit's already pissing me off. <laughs> These videos are never gonna work. I know they're not. Uh, so two years ago, I decided to actually go to school. So I'm 22 now. So I first enrolled when I was 20 and I had the expectations that two years later I would graduate and get a job somewhere here in Wisconsin, close to home. So, you know, I could kind of get into the trades and you know get my journeyman's card and then see what I would do after that. It's amazing how quick you can change your mind. So one year into the program, uh, things are going fine. I mean, it's really not that tough. I like the classes and everything like that. But my outlook of what I wanted to do after school starts to change. So before, I was going to look around Wisconsin and whatever pops up around here, you know, that's what I wanted to do just to get your foot in the door or whatever. But after that first year, um, it was a really shitty winter and shitty, I mean, cold and not a lot of snow. So Wisconsin, there just isn't a whole lot you can do when there's not snow and it's just usually just really cold. It doesn't help that we were out in Denver this summer visiting my brother as well and they have like super awesome weather out there. So that kind of like kicked me in the ass and said, this is what you want. You don't want Wisconsin. Do something about that. It was probably around Thanksgiving or Christmas time that I kind of started churning the idea that um, I wanted to go visit other places. You know, Denver was cool. I got to see that. Uh, maybe it's for me. Maybe it's not. But I knew other places would be just like that. Maybe I'd find the perfect one. Maybe I'd would hate other places and God forbid Wisconsin is the best because I hope, sure hope it's not. Anyways, so that idea kind of started rolling around in my head and um, people would ask me, you know, you only have a year left, what are you going to do when you graduate? And I said, oh, I'll probably uh, look for like a traveling job or something like that. A lot of the trades you can travel with companies and stuff like that. And it wasn't till this semester that like I really got a concrete idea of what I wanted to do. I wasn't gonna fly to places, it's just a waste of money. Um, I'm plane tickets getting there and back and then you have to find a car and then you have to find a place to sleep and then you don't have the shit you want. So I've been kicking around the idea of doing a road trip just by myself and pretty much living out of my car. I'm gonna pack up the car by myself maybe bring a couple of my own things to have a little fun along the way and see where it takes me when I first thought about like driving by myself you know possibly across the country or whatever um, I was pretty scared not really like frightened of what could happen you know just scared to just leave all my things behind Everyone I talked to, whether it was my brother, my sister, my mom or my dad, people just making small talk with, people at work, they supported this idea, I mean, 100%. They said, this is your last chance to do this. I mean, last chance, whatever. If you settle down, you're never going to do this. You're never going to take the time. You're never going to have the money again to do it. You just won't do it. So I guess the purpose of this video really is to make a promise to myself that I will do this this summer regardless of what happens unless like I won't even bring that shit up but unless something crazy happens I'm gonna go out and do this uh, I started planning a little bit already I kinda have my course mapped out a little bit if you will um, starting to get some gear for it most everything I need I think I have right now but I'm just trying to make some plans I overthink things too much and that can really eat me up too so that's another thing I just want to push myself go out and do it um, whatever happens along the way I'm pretty good with handling adversity 
I don't get angry too easy. I can fix a lot of things. I laugh at my mistakes a lot. <laughs> um, so I think it'll be a fun time. We'll see.